fortune and was lucky enough to be able to work with Orson Welles as his cameraman, assistant, right-hand man, etc., for 15 years, from the time I met him in 1970 until his death in 1985. My name is Gary Graver. Orson Welles. I direct films and act in them. What we're always trying for, of course, is perfection. That's a laugh. You slash your wrists hoping to die, now you're frightened of a little infection. Women. They're all the same. Weak, manipulating, vindictive. The only good woman I ever knew was your poor dead mother. And I'm waiting for some of her to rub off on you. You don't like me talking about your mother, do you? Pour me some tea. Louise, help me. Louise, I... I can't breathe. Louise!
buddy, boy. Oh, buddy. I ain't thinking that, buddy boy. Ah, beautiful morning, buddy. Ah. Come on. We're gonna have us a day, buddy. Up, up and at him. You didn't sleep well, Carl. Look at the music you listen to, boy. <laughs> That's better. Come on, buddy. Come on. I heard you cry out in the middle of the night. You don't remember me talking to you, do you? Well, you know me. I don't remember nothing. <laughs> I think you're in pain. Maybe you're in pain and you won't admit it to yourself. The pain I got is listening to you. I'll tell you. Please don't take the boy. Different. You've sissified him. You molly coddled him. You made him. Mama's playing the laugh on me, but he's gonna become a man. He is coming hunt with me and the boys. Donna! I want some breakfast. Oh, skid. <laughs> Get out of here. What you doing? Stay in there with you or can't she talk with her mouth full? <laughs> <laughs>
I'm glad you brought those beans, Leonard. I always bring beans. You sure do. Mm. <laughs> Here you go, kid, or some beans. Cup of coffee? Yeah, maybe it'll settle your nerves. You better eat something, buddy Owen. You'll get hungry later. Damn, it's hot. Well, maybe it'll burn some of that fat off you. <gasps> oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Where are you weighing now, Leonard? About 400? <laughs> damn it. You want to go a few rounds? Yeah, maybe I do. Yeah, yeah, maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty light your feet there, big guy. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't go by looks, Frank. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't it a little hot for you guys to be horsing around? It's okay, Carl. <coughs> we were just fooling around. Get that right, Leonard. chicken shit all your life. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, boy, I ain't dirty. Come on. Come on down here. Put your arm here. That's right. Go! You didn't even try. Christopher, are you in here? Christopher? I'm putting in my Halloween costume, sir. Huh. Christopher, you turn that light on. Now you come out here now. Well, you're not putting on your Halloween costume. And why did you lie to Richard? Well, I was about to put it on, but I was just trying on some ghost makeup. In the dark? What have I told you about lying? All right, Joan, come on, lighten up on the kid. Excuse me. Have you finished packing? Well, I just thought the kid could... Get it. You know? Now, clean up this room. Well, can't, can't you take me out trick-or-treating? You know that Richard and I have to go to this party. It's business. It's not business. Party. It is business. It's fun. Oh. Now, Christopher, you've got to learn that everything in life is not just fun. Now, give me a kiss. Now, you be a good boy. I'll be a good boy if you give me the Wizard of Siam trick. I'll get it for you when I get back. Inside the house. I've had it with you, and I'm going to tie you up in your bed. I'll escape. Look, just stop, please. I'm tired. Why don't you take a break? Leave me alone. 
Why don't you dress up like the other kids and go around the neighborhood? You might get yourself some poison candy. I heard what you said. That wasn't very nice. You're right. I don't know why I'd have such a thought. I'm a cannibal, and I bring you human flesh to eat at night. You're probably a midget. I wonder if I should put her in a zigzag box, or saw in half. Okay, boy. Good horse, good horse. Now, now go back to the camp and, and bring some help, okay? You understand? You understand that? Good boy, good boy, yeah. Six miles out of course, and tomorrow I'll bring us back on. Things got better by the afternoon. Everyone seemed to be trying to smooth things over, you know, the, the tensions of the day. There was a brief moment of peace. Hey, Claire. What? Hey, don't put that gel in the ice cream. Why don't you cut back on the ice cream, because it's not good for your figure. Shut up. You should talk. You look like a beached whale the way you walk around this boat, pulling your pants up because they won't fit over your fat gut. You drink too much. Oh, really? Well, have some more, then. I have think... some more ice cream and have some more booze. Okay. I will. Yeah, have some goddamn more. I will. Watch. Well, it's got to the very top. Right. <laughs> Let's see how fast you can drink it. Let's see how full you can make me one time. Back off. Not only are you a physical loser, you're stupid. I'm telling you, don't eat any more of that. Watch me. Watch this. And watch this. Let's see how high I can fill it. Let's see how fast no good, I no can drink it. Somebody want a piece of cake? Have some yourself. Here's to you, here's to nothing.
don't we cut the cake, huh? Come on. To you. you give her some time by yourself, and tomorrow morning everything's gonna be all right. Guarantee you. Why don't we just turn around in the morning and go back? No, what, are you kidding? I don't worry about Claire. She'll be fine. What do you say we turn in? Oh, yeah. The sun really took a lot out of me today. Hey, hey what about the cake? You eat the cake. I go to bed, yeah. I'm going I'm to sleep. Too cool. Claire! Claire's time for Betty. Bye. Claire! Find Claire. No, I mean, you've been sick. No. Why? I feel so horrible about Claire. I've never been in a situation where someone fell overboard or died or, or anything. Do you know all that drinking and arguing? Keep looking, Isabel. Radio's not working. I'm going to check the antenna. What about the auxiliary? Somebody tampered with it. Oh. Now, who the hell would mess with a radio? Maybe Claire. She was kind of drunk last night. You know, you've been tough on her. You should take care of her a little bit. Shit, Mark. That's my goddamn business. Everything on this boat is my business. Where's goddamn She's overboard, overboard fucking... Mark? She's overboard, you hear me? Forget about that. We'll use the engine. 
all of a sudden there was no radio, no mainsail, no key. No key to the motor. We were adrift, helpless. Are you afraid of the water? Death was well served that day. Mm, death. The day when the village was attacked. The people did not die willingly. Mark told you about that? The moon is in Scorpio. What do you mean by that? Many things. Revenge. Retribution. It is a time of great light and great darkness. No one can be trusted. Who are you? You know very well who I am. My name is Lampshade. I'm a dog. This is Peter, a person, my owner and provider. If he looks weird, it's because he's a nerd. But he's a great nerd. Let me tell you about the exciting film we just made called Nerds of a Feather. It's a funny, freewheeling, heavy-duty spoof about two of the world's clutchiest daydreamers. Starring Mario Milano is Peter, so desperate for a job he'll do anything. <laughs> Kathleen Hitchka is Jennifer. Desperate enough to marry anybody. With Pat McCormick as the mad Russian professor. There are tall people, short people, fat people, and beautiful people. Find the professor and the life extension formula and bring them back to Moscow. Anya will do anything to get what she wants. But all Petrovich wants is Anya. It's about long cars, short cars, hot cars, and a nerd's car. Funny cars, non-funny cars. Me and my sunglasses, cops who wear makeup, and an invincible Munchkin Russian army. Uh, do you have a cheeseburger? A cheeseburger? If you wanted a cheeseburger, you should have went to McDonald's. Voted as the funniest film of the year by me and the K-9 Kennel Country Club. It's action, adventure, big romance, little romance, very big comedy. Nerds of a Feather. See you at the movies. Bring the whole family, including your dog. Sorry, cats are restricted. Yes, Ray. Ray, this is always the same story. I know, Ray, there's always a reason. Hang on. Harold, tell me. I just got off the line with the union. They've given me a list of their demands. If you're sitting down, you're not going to like this. Petensky's headed right this way. Might as well get it from him first hand. And then I'll call you back and let you know the verdict, okay? Listen, Ray, uh, you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Cancel the order. Why? Because I've got enough problems of my own without having to do business with you. Let's sit down and negotiate like friends. Here are your reports. I want to sit down. My son's in the hospital. Zach? Josh. What happened? He's with your son on those damn motorcycles. He's in a coma. Josh is in a hospital dying because he followed your son. 
come on. You know what I'm talking about. Ricky's out of control. Now he's killing people. What are you going to do about it? I'm not going to fight with you. You find out Ricky's side of the story, then we'll talk. Why don't you go home and be with your son? doesn't even matter anymore. Everybody thinks that it was your fault. Do you know what that does to me? Do you know what it means to my negotiating position with the union? Do you? Fuck your union, man. Fuck your goddamn company. You killed my mother. House. Now he's killing me. You're Hopefully not going to see anybody. And you're not going to talk to anybody. Oh, yeah? You walk out that door. Don't come back. Hey, give the boy a prize. You got it. the idea of you snooping around behind my back. No, I don't like the idea of you lying to me. Johnny Malone was not with you. We have a material witness that puts him on the scene. Oh, you ain't got shit. Tony and I were buddies. Now look, Johnny, I don't want to hurt you, okay? the shots, where were you? I was in my room, waiting. This is Los Angeles, from the back alleys to the bedrooms, where you can buy anything if you've got the bucks. Naked Force is a drama of beautiful women and dangerous men searching for a dream in the city of angels, where life in the fast lane is a shortcut to hell. Evil spirits. people you've been collecting checks for. I think we should have a little talk. I'll rid this house of its evil spirits. There is danger to you all. There is death among you. What evil spirits lurk in this house? What strange force has taken possession? It stinks! That's what it is! The whole neighborhood is reeking with something rotten, and it's coming from my next-door neighbor's backyard. What you got there, pal? Murder lies between these bloody walls, where society's frightened outcasts are pushed to the edge of insanity. Come in and welcome to our humble abode. Someone has got to keep an eye on things in this foreboding house, because if they don't, some unknown terror will rob them of their souls. I want to leave now. It's raining, Janet. I think you're being rained. Then why do I feel this way? First of the month. Lots of government checks, as usual. 
That terrible smell in your backyard. George. I just saw you burying a body in the backyard. How could you think that of me? From the deep, dark decadence of this old house come the passions of the evil spirits. Seances, drunks, half-wits, creeps, mutes, maniacs are all together only to be destroyed unless they can save themselves from the grave. comes their fear, stalking its victims, playing the game of death, and taunting the exorcism of this house of its evil spirits. The hell with the police. I want it. Now. Chad! Chad! Over here! Hey, Chick. Good to see you, man. What are you guys doing over here? We keep over to watch it in person. It's about to start. Stan, I want you to meet my friends, Chad and Sally. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm Sherry. Why don't you guys pull up right here, okay? It's gonna start. Right here? Okay. Looks like you two got in on the action. Oh, uh, yeah. Chick's a friend of ours. I hope he's right. So do we. Well, if you need a place to stay, mention my name. They know me here. I'll, uh, give you a good deal. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. They're up and they're off. Pack is breaking evenly. It's Morning Glory in the lead. Morning Glory pulls out by two. Morning Glory oh. followed by Forever Yours. Forever Yours moving back by two. Coming up to the first turn, still Morning Glory in the lead. Moving up, the crowd is starting to thin out. It's Morning Glory breaking away by four. Morning Glory by four. Forever Yours in second by two. Coming up by... Oh my gosh, Ed! We're gonna win! We're gonna win! Oh my gosh, Ed! Next time. Ta-ta. You gotta be kidding me. I lose my own money on this race, a sure thing. Gotta get me. Look, you're in big trouble. You just better get all the bets. You got that? I'm really sorry, Jed. Yeah, well, that doesn't do me much good. Now does it, Chick? I can't believe I let you talk me into this. You know? The minute that he suggested this, I said no. Because I know Chick. I know that Chick is full of shit. And then you had to go and stick your nose into it and say it was okay to do. It's not my fault, Jed. It was a fluke, Jed. We all went down on Look, this. Look, I've got to be the biggest freaking idiot that ever walked on a goddamn earth. I should have known that my old buddy here, Chickster here, was involved, but I was going to get screwed somehow. And I did. Good. Now that you had your little tantrum, I hope you feel better. But I still need the money. Of course, of course, you need the money, yeah. I assume you don't have it on you right now, so I'll give you to tomorrow morning to get it to me, okay? That's fine, Chick. So how about you meet me at the bar in the casino tomorrow at noon? No problem. I'm sorry. Jed, I have an idea. Honey, if I were you, just get as far away from me as possible, okay? Just run. Because he's gonna have men come and do things to me, I don't know. I'm not you, Jed. I love you no matter what happens. I think it's time we had some good luck. You're gonna have to trust me, though. Come on, come on. Look, you said you had a plan. What is it? Come on, come on, Jeff. What are we gonna do here? I'd like to have this changed into chips. Where'd you get that? It's our rent money. Relax. I brought it just in case of emergency. Oh, what 
the hell? Get someone over to 13861 Stevens Boulevard. Somebody's been killed. All right, what information can you give us? It might have something to do with the body you found over on Van Owen this morning. Yeah, Harry, listen, I was wondering if forensics come up with any miracles in that shower corpse this morning. Maybe. We found a couple of inconsistent bruises on the face and forehead. Uh, not caused by any impact with the floor, huh? Probably not. Unless he bounced and rolled. They're opposite each other. Uh, like somebody grabbed him by the shoulders and banged his head on a wall, huh? That's going to be my official ruling. Oh, Christ. It's just what this city needs, not a killer on a loose. This is classic. Thank you. 